Hey, what's happening, guys? <clears throat> it is that time of year when the dollar stores fill up with the super cheap electronics crap. I think this one is my favorite from this year. This is the Up Down Light. I can just hear, like, you know, the marketing meeting for this. All right, who's got anything? I do. What is it, Smith? How about a night light, sir? We got night lights. What's special about yours? It goes up and down. Smith, we got lights to go up, we got lights to go down. What's the point? Mine does them both at the same time. At the same time? That's brilliant. Let's make it. So they did. The up down light can go up, it can go down, or both. Three modes 32 lumens, long lasting surface mount LED. No tools required. Day night sensor. There you have it. Let's have a look at it. Man, that is some tough packaging. And they were worried about people lifting these out of the store. Ah, even comes with real fake 3M. Uh, Double-sided tape. Slide down to open. Yeah. You have the strength of a gorilla, maybe. Instructions. RTFM, baby. Thought they said no tools required. Am I supposed to put them in with my tongue? requires three AAA batteries not included made in China well, of course it's made in China all the best stuff is all right it says slide down let's see if we can spudge it open in on or auto mode once batteries are installed lights will turn on then come back on when it's dark and motion is detected. Okay. Whoops. So that sounds like it only has one mode. Motion detecting. Interesting. Let's have a look at the circuitry. Well, we know we've got a uh, PIR, Passive Infrared Sensor. What else do we have? Oh, yes, the button. The button is causing me problems. I should be able to. There. Ah, there we go. All right. So there is the circuit board. Let's get a closer look. Oops, sorry about the bumpy ride. So the chip has been obliterated. It's been some sort of four pin microcontroller. So these red and white wires here are coming from the passive infrared sensor, so that's our switch. Then we have this mode switch here with the two blue wires. We have a red and white going to the upper, oh, okay, okay, I got it. I was mistaken. Let's try this again. The red and white here go to the upper cob, red and white here go to the bottom cob, and this little guy right here in the middle is the PIR sensor attached on the back side of the board. We have our mode switch, then we have our power switch set right here. Other than that, we got a couple capacitors, we got a transistor, capacitor, resistor, resistor, 
another transistor here, transistor here. So we got a transistor for turning on each of the cobs. We have our passive infrared sensor controlling this microcontroller or microprocessor. We got a ground plane here. So C1 and C2 are across the ground plane. They'll be decoupling. Interesting. I mean, it's really simple circuitry. Nothing much going on here. I mean, power comes in from the battery. That is the red and the black wire. When the PIR senses something, it triggers this, which hits either one or both of those transistors for whatever time is programmed into the timer. Yeah, that's really all there is to it. All right, put some batteries in here. So now it's on, off, and auto. So let's turn out some lights, see what we get. No oh, shit. All right, here we go. And we'll see how long it stays on. So there you go. 43.26 seconds. <clears throat> we'll see the mode button here should. Yep. There's one on. Switches between them. Both. Off. Bottom. Top. Both. There we go. So yeah. That's the up-down light, new for 2021 by SensorBright. <laughs> Hope you guys liked this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons that make this possible. And a big thanks to you for watching the videos. That's it. I'm out. Peace.